focused a little bit on Sean Wayne and his selection issues because these are very good headaches to have because who's he going in with the halves after Mark Snead's performance and obviously we've already kind of answered that on the full 80 minutes Dom Young has taken himself out of the equation it's Ryan Hall or Makinson I think we all universally agreed it's going to be Makinson um, but yeah it's going to be England against Papua New Guinea this isn't a given this one Craig the way Papua New Guinea can play this one is not. This is this is not. This is not the give it. I go back to historic games against Papua New Guinea. There was a game in the last World Cup in 2017 down under. I think it was PNG 22, England 32. Listen, I'm just saying based on you your comment earlier about England on this skateboard, England will win on Saturday, but I'm not sure it's going to be the margin of victory that people expect. I'll put my neck on the line and I'll say it'll be less than 20. Here, feel free to shoot me next Monday. I think it'll be really competitive. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, mate. And it'll be, it'll be less than 20. And this will be... Uh, I think this will be far tougher than what England expect. And I just hope to God, Sean Wynne will use all his experience with Andy Last and everybody. You cannot allow that C word complacency. You summed it up, Craig. They're on the skateboard, you know. We've put ninety on that. That's that result against Greece could be the worst thing that's happened because if they're comfortable in themselves, and there's nothing wrong with being confident in your ability, but don't go into that game thinking this is going to be forty or fifty. No. And I'm sure they're not, Jimmy. No. I'm sure they're not. And they're, really... they're, 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 they'll be very grounded and aware. But I think England will win, but it'll be less than twenty. Well, I, I think that what. What Craig's just described about the Aussies, I think we're going to see England do that as well. Yeah. I think I think they're going to be they're going to be really focused. I think I think Sean Wayne has probably allowed him to play with a little bit more freedom and for been trying different combinations. I think this is going to be a really business like performance. I think he's going to be trying extremely high completion, relentless defence like they did against the Samoans early on. And I, and I think that's why I agree with you, Mick. I do think England will come out on top because I think they'll just be so disciplined yeah. and stick to the, his plan. And everyone, you know, they use the, the words of knowing their roles within the team and yeah. sticking to it. I'm confident in England that they will do that. PNG, we know they've got some serious threats. We've talked about with Pape an awful lot this year. Oh. Nene McDonald and, and, and others, but... So are they dangerous? Are they physical? Are they big? Is it gonna? Is there gonna be periods of a game where it's really tough? Undoubtedly, I'm I'm expecting England to probably win by two or three tries. I'd be surprised if it ends up anything like a blowout as well. Um, but I do think it's gonna be a real tough challenge. But hopefully, I feel that this is almost a great warm up for whoever we play next. Correct. You know, Correct. they're almost a very similar style of play in some respects to the, the Samoans and the Tongans. The physicality is very similar. Um, get a grip of a Pape and, and England will, will, um, will prevail. But a tight one. And just a quick one, final one from me, uh, for Bradford fans. Um, the new signing will be playing Touchwood if they beat Wales tonight. So you'll, you'll get a look at the, uh, the new player who will be at in 2023. We're on a quarter-final preview. We've got Bradford. <laughs> Still got Bradford. It should be Sam red card. <laughs> go on, Joe. Sorry. No, you go. Well, I'm gonna throw a couple of curveballs in. Ooh. And I'm gonna say I don't like the Greece thing. I think I've got a bit of that. I think England will be will win. More than the 20, it's a curveball. I'm thinking they will put 40. Right. They'll be 40 again. The reason I'm saying it is you mentioned 17, but that is in the 100 degrees in Australia. The temperatures are all... No, I agree, Craig. This is... The, the preview this week's going to be gloomy. And gloomy and gloomy. A nice wet ball. Which brings me back to the comment we've made before. Do you play Sneed in the conditions of needing a kicker in wet conditions? I think, yes, it has to happen. I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm sorry for all the all the other people who get slaughtered for it, but I play Sneedy in wet conditions. You've just said the games at Wigan. You, you've just you've done a preview talking about halves, and Sneedy as a kicker, one probably the best kicker in Super League, but it goes against everything you believe in as a, as a player. I'm, I'm picking my team based on what I think they'll do in the conditions. If it was June, Sneedy's not making my. Uh, they won't get me. Th- 22, whatever it is, but in these conditions in Papua New Guinea, 
Uh, the only one of the only three or four teams will will match us. In, for, it'll be ferocious. You are going to see headshots. You're going to see penalties. These won't back off. If Morgan Knowles and, and Matty Lee's go head hunting, get ready. Because they will meet more head hunting you've ever seen. These will go toe to toe. Where they don't go toe to toe is controlling the ball, field position coming out, and England will be far superior in their coaching levels and far superior in technical players. They'll just come out all explosion. The referee, I don't know the referee's going to be of the match. You're going to need a good one. Because we, we, I've wrote some it down here. They keep using it in the World Cup. You can do... Your best form of attack is your defence. Huh? And I'm trying to get my head around when they're saying it. I know with football, Man City, they're saying if you know. At the moment, they're not bothered if you have the ball, which is a good thing for people watching. If you watch what Tomorrow did, he kept mentioning it. What Rick Bossy kept saying, watch how they go for him here. And it's literally neutralising you. Because they're coming at you with line speed and smashing your every set. You've got no, your body after 25 minutes has got no right. Papua New Guinea will match England for 25 minutes, but then England will put a big score on Papua New Guinea in this country. And I do believe, tactically, he'll go for Sneedy. And you'll see more eye bombs go up for Don and Ryan Hall, Tommy Mack, whoever it is, the centres. I think you'll see it. And I think he has to play Sneed in them conditions. So, so who do you think he's leaving out? I don't know how fit Sam is. Right, so you think I'm probably he... thinking Wells be full back and he might even rest Sammy. He right. thinks he gets to it. Thinking he'd have that much faith. And that's the respect for Sam. I think he's probably still wanting Sam in. Yeah. But I don't... Papa New Guinea will be brutal. You're going to need your body. <laughs> Everybody was playing against Papa New Guinea rings and they go, it is horrendous. It's absolutely... You know, if you want to... We, we, we earlier on never picked Papa New Guinea in England to watch, which is scandalous for England sports. Joe copped out five weeks to go and salvaged his reputation we're, we're going to get slaughtered we'll see but I've got to say honestly Mick for half an hour 25 minutes this will be electric oh, but then no doubt that and then honestly it'll be knock on do, do you know what I'm going to say here let's see if the old mystic uh, Meg I think there'll be a, could be a couple of Simbinins they might even see bordering on tasty tasty because mm. let's say Papua New Guinea is it a one off shot for Papua New Guinea as it is England right yeah. Papua New England are favourites, yeah. So England might think, yeah, we we'll get through all this. Are England looking at the semis, guys? Well, that's down to Sean Wayne, isn't it? But I, have they as a player, Jimmy? They've got to be. They've got Joe. to have one eye on the semis to no. use the phrase. No, Mick. Yes, hundred percent. On Papua New Guinea, are Papua New Guinea going? We've got one game at this. Let us smash these. Said. I, I'd be shocked if if, if if England win be more than... But you're kind of co contradicting itself because me and Mick have said everything mm. you're saying but we think they'll manage to keep it tight but you're thinking the last 10 minutes of both halves oh, so England will last score... 30 minutes England will score 30 points. You think they'll win by more than 40? 30 to 40, maybe even more, yeah. Wow. But it'll yeah. be exciting big call, to watch right now. Yeah. Call. Joe? <clears throat> I think the, the thing England have in their favour is that Papua New Guinea's is best qualities is our best qualities and I think we've just got more quality in them positions as in big athletic fast pack they've they've got that yeah. but I think we've got better of that um, it depend their best and then their second best one is Ipape around the rook but we've got very good we've got very good defence around in the middle yeah. our defence is fantastic around the middle so we might I'm going with dad but for a different reason I think we end up throughout the game neutralising their best I think we neutralise their best strengths and eventually it are just too much for them in the areas that they're weaker at I mean, uh, they're, they're, our Xavier Coates one of their best players hasn't played any of the World Cup I think he's been ruled out if I'm not wrong he was their 6 foot 5 winger yeah. who was meant to be our Dom Youngs in terms of high balls yeah. they've not got him sadly and I think that's where I think Dom I think Dom's going to get another couple of tries I think Tommy Mack. I think our edge. I think our strike edge will end up getting their uh, their edge, and that's where we're going to get our tries, and we'll win comfortably in a tough battle. Are we, are we doing score predictions while it's the England game? Are we having a go? That's the boss, Mick. Thirty points to six to England. Um, I thought you said a cl really close. I, that I, that I, convinced you? Said no, 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 no. I, I, I think that's twenty-four. <laughs> that's to say. Well, just change it to 30 points to 12 and you're 18. I'm just, I'm just going down list here, guys. Papa New Guinea, Alex Johnson, South and Rabbit Toes, Dan Russell, Brisbane Broncos, and then Emmett and Old. We, we've mentioned, but actually he's probably has been played at the lowest standard. 
Uh, Lee. It's crazy Justin, about to change his now. Justin Olin. <laughs> Melbourne Storm. Roderick PPNG. Listen, that is, listen. Lachlan Lamb. Let me just tell you, uh, the PPNG. Then you've got Reese Martin, which we need to give him a mention to. Oh, he's been, been fa- fantastic. Yeah, Jacob Alec, which is Gold Coast Titans. Uh, and then you've got that. So they've actually, you know, they've got seven or eight NRL players who we haven't mentioned. That's Edge as well. That kind of just uh, defeats it mine. Doesn't change, <laughs> it doesn't change my mind, Michael. I'm sorry to say, but I just think that for half an hour, 25, you can have a right game. And and they will put the scare in. They always do. They do it against everybody. Oh, I can remember Men's this year. His, his fear historians. Men's this year when he scored that try against England. If you remember it, and I think you're playing for Sheffield. And you're thinking that step up against the Callum Watkins against the thing. It it was best pitch, player on pitch for half an hour. He played at Sheffield Championship. He, he hit a crash ball. that was smashing everybody. Watson Bowers has been doing it, hasn't he? To yeah. be fair, he's exactly. been it, hasn't he? 30, 30, Thirty points to ten, Jimmy. There 30, we go. 10, I'm going, I said I said twenty. I'm less. going a bit lower. I'm, I'm 30, going. 30, I'm 10. going twenty twenty. I got twenty six ten to England. Twenty six ten. So I'll make sure you record all these scores. Reputations are on the line. I am. Um, Hands up, I forgot about that. Justin Olam, he's, my, he's one of my players of the tournament Class. myself. I think he's unbelievable. Um, what he's done for Melbourne this year in the NRL. He's, he's been wow. unbelievable. Wow. So I think I'll have to change yeah, it and make it tighter. Bit. Yeah, I'm going to make it much tighter than I oh said. And I'm going to go I'm gonna go 18-12 to England. You've, you've just done a 30-point change on one Four player. Seconds. I didn't, I didn't, no, give, I didn't give a score. I, I just, just said oh, a comfortable I, win. Oh, I said so a comfortable win for England. I've definitely gone down a lot. I've gone down a lot. Oh, real I'll, I'll name the team sheet on each one and then you can all change your mind after I read them. Hey, I've stuck with mine, son. I've stuck with mine. I'm, I'm waiting for your ball. That's me. 20 or less. I forgot about that. Said, my, that my argument was with so we've got, middle, we've got through, we've got England through, through so, and Australia. Got Australia. You need to give your score for don't England. Need, don't need, uh, I told you, I think it's 35 to 40 England. Their, wow. their weakest position is the wingers. I look at that. Uh, I think the winner, he, he dropped a couple. He, he scored a nice try, and redeemed himself in the last. I think their wing. I think we get him in the wing position. Not the. I'm not saying edge because that Justin Olam's probably the best player, maybe the best player on the pitch. So I'm not going to say that again. But I think their wing. I think we can get him on the high bombs. We might need Mark Steed. I'm doing total 180, 360. Sorry, I'm split around. Are you I thinking? Think Joe that? just got gold medal at Olympics for gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any front rolls, have you? Well, no, the trampoline you know. when they do the spins because I've just completely, yeah, I've changed. I think oh, we yeah. get, I think we get him in the well, winger position. Do you, th- bomb. do you think P and G are going to score a few tries and England score sixty? No, it'd be low scoring. Thinking? Then leaves, uh, they'll just kick on. I don't think there'll be many tries. So it? you're thinking what forty-four? Four. And then they'll kick on last. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a low scoring. <laughs> Right, well, game number I mean, three. I've got me shot, lads, and it's coming. Well, when I deliver scoring, this, when you've I deliver by forty. No, no, low scoring. As in Papua New Guinea won't score a lot. Right. I think England must have. Could give you some prediction then. Uh, God, forty-six or eight. I don't think. I don't think Papua New Guinea will get more than that. What? Oh, there you go. Forty, 40 points to six. 